Thanks for joining me today, Michael Bass, Next Materials Coffee Break. Today I want to explain functionality, what's needed at the job site for materials management. As you can imagine, at the job site there will be a warehouse, a warehouse of materials. So it can be actually in the warehouse or it can be outside the warehouse and it's called a lay down yard. So it's just laying down outside. Now engineering obviously is building drawings, created drawings called isometrics. These isometrics, these are called, I can write this down, bill of materials. So that's a bill of material of an isometric, number one, number two, and number three, and requires this material, right? So now there's a step in process. It's not like there are only three drawings, there are 1,000 drawings actually in the system, or 5,000 drawings. There's a step in the process called forecast. The purpose of the forecast is, what is I can build today based on the requirements from engineering compared to what's in the warehouse today, right? So I start a, fo I start a forecast and in the forecast I define a priority. So I say first drawing one, then drawing two, and then drawing three. This is my construction priority I have in place. And I just put this in, in, in the system just to play around, right? So I start my forecast process and here's how it works. So I take the first drawing, here's the first drawing. I need 80 feet, one each, one each of an elbow and a T. Do we have 80 feet in the warehouse? Yes, I have 80 feet in the warehouse. So I have 80, I have one elbow and I have one T. Parallel, when the system goes through the system, it will calculate minus 80, minus 1, minus 1, as you can imagine, right? So now it goes to the next drawing. So what's still left? So I need pipe 50 feet. As you can now imagine, we have only 40 feet available and we are short by minus 10, right? Because here's only 40 left, I need 50. I can have only 40, so 10 is short. That's the language, 10 is short, okay? I do have enough elbows, so I have the two and have the one. So we are concentrating on the pipe in the moment to get the point across. The next is I need pipe 60 foot, but because of this, we are already off zero. The warehouse is empty because we consumed 40 and 80 here, it's 120. I have nothing available and I'm 60 foot, 60 foot short. I have, I think, still the, the elbows and still the T's available. So when you do this result, so the result of this forecast will be, yeah, you can do drawing one, perfect. I can't do this one. I can't do this one. This is partly available, kind of a deal. So not, it's actually not good, right? Well, it's, it's good, but you can actually even optimize the workload. So as, an engine, as a construction manager, you can now decide, okay, I have now these drawings. Now the system has an optimizer in place to, to run with an optimizer. As you now can imagine, if I do now the same stuff again, I think you can see it, I have now one drawing fully available and two drawings basically partly. The optimizer does this. It plays around with the priorities. It will start now with this one. Right? So if I now start with, with drawing two, I need 50 feet. Right? So instead of minus 80, minus 50, so we have 70 left. We have enough elbows anyway. So I have 70 left. So I have complete this, two each here and one each here. So now I've consumed 110, 120 are available. Now I can use already 10 here and I have 70 short and I have this. So what the optimizer now did, the forecast optimizer, Instead of saying only one drawing is available, now actually 
two drawings are available, and this is half, partly. All right? So that's a normal process in materials management, how you basically can optimize your construction workload, because that's what you want to try. Okay? You're trying to get drawings done completely available in terms of material, so you can start the work tomorrow. Hopefully this helped. Michael Bass.